Hello, everybody. Welcome out to our wellness topic tonight. Uh, we are going to talk about pregnancy, birth, and babies. And Jade has prepared an ebook for us. Um, you can get this ebook. I can share the screen. I'll just share the screen with you. Um, you can go to jadebalden.com slash ebooks. Um, and it's one of the books there. You just follow that link through, put your email address in, and there you go. So here's, we've downloaded it. And like I said, you can get this uh, printed out. And we're, Jade's going to walk us through this. Uh -huh. We've had a lot of, um, you know, people that have used these things, um, these ideas and stuff. So, yeah. yeah. This is really important in today's um, world because uh, one in three kids have learning disabilities. And, you know, there's more and more um, stats that is really scary, guys. Um, so I just wanted to help moms start on the right foot and babies uh, to come into the world um, you know, with, uh, you know, that's he as healthy as they can with as little intervention of um, toxins and drugs as, as they can, because um, our society is changing and uh, we have a lot of uh, moms that uh, feel helpless. And um, uh, I just want to help you feel hope uh, that uh, you have the power to help your family and you can make a big difference in your children's lives. Even this week, when I was in Ohio, we, we talked about um, children with allergies and um, children with, that are on the medications or they have con uh, concentration learning uh, concerns and, um, you know, all the way to autism and dyslexia, things like that. And whatever we can do to um, keep the body clean and the cells communicating would make that we give our children a better chance of um, having a healthy body and a healthy environment to grow up in. So this is the ebook. You are welcome to share this ebook with anybody, and it's free. So we'll start um, with the first page. Okay. Uh, so this ebook will cover um, your body for pregnancy and what to do to support you during pregnancy. If you know people that are pregnant, um, you know, this is a good book to share with them, uh, to relax during labor and birth and to keep you and your baby healthy afterwards. See? So um, the first part of it tells you how to use essential oils. If you're new to essential oils, so, you know, this is why this is a fun book to share with people because if they don't know what essential oils are, at least, um, you know, here's a little bit of an intro to help them get started and um, get right on the right track. Okay, so we talked about the essential oil grades and usage, which we don't have to go through um, over tonight and um, essential oil usage. So of course, we show people how to smell it, rub it, and ingest it, okay? So um, number one, we're gonna talk about step one, preparing your body. Clean cells equal healthy mama. And um, basically, uh, if you are not pregnant and planning to be pregnant, this is a very good time to detox your body. Um, we wanna detox your body from a lot of fungus, and um, you know they, they call it candida. We want to detox your cells um, of heavy metals and other toxins. So women use a lot of makeup and we do a lot of cleaning and um, a lot of those toxins are in our cells and in our body. So it will really help us if we cleanse. I know lots of friends that um, don't even have their periods and uh, when they do a cleanse and after the cleanse they start having their periods again so that's awesome okay this is an awesome uh, way to um, help our children because I know one lady she said my child was born with this one mental um, you know, problem and allergies you know from the womb and I said yes because the mama has um, toxins and um, you know, the candida and things like that, and then it really affects the children, okay? Um, 
So we want to keep our cells as clean as possible. So of course, uh, lifelong vitality supplements, anytime we give ourselves the nutrition that we need, our body will naturally detox anyways. So if you eat our vegetables and fruits, your body is detoxing with that anyways. Um, but now we just want to um, raise the level of um, how fast and how efficient your body is to detox. So we, um, the doTERRA Lifelong Vitality Pack is awesome. It's got all the vitamins and minerals that you need. And you know, the interesting thing is there are lots of prenatals out there that are toxic to us. <laughs> They're made from synthetics. And there's a lot of studies, and I wish that Debbie Gordon was here just to share with you too, uh, um, how harmful they are to us and um, what uh, um, birth defects it's caused. So I was shocked because I've tried to force myself to take it. And then, um, you know, I just couldn't, I just couldn't take it anymore because my body just kept on throwing it up and just couldn't make myself do it anymore. And come to find out my body was doing the right thing by um, not allowing me to, to keep taking it. Okay, so our detoxification blend is an awesome blend. Now, if you are already pregnant, um, don't do this, just do the supplements. Okay, so it's, this is not the time to detox um, in a big way. Um, you are already detoxing in a gentle way anyways, uh, no matter what you're eating or doing. Uh, but this is just encouraging it to detox faster. For people who are not quite um, ready to get pregnant yet, they're preparing their body. Uh, the Zendocrine blend has rosemary, cilantro, tangerine, juniper berry, and geranium. Great for cleansing or the colon, the liver, the kidneys, okay, and the lungs. Fantastic um, oil blend. I use it every day now uh, because it just helps me um, I just I feel like my organs are happier and uh, it just keeps me at a higher clean clean level I don't know if that makes sense but anyways probiotics are great for moms um, or pregnant women it's really good so we have the PBS cyst and if you like you can take the PBS cyst junior because that's really yummy <laughs> I like that one better <laughs> so I'm taking that now instead of the PBS cyst um, so that's great for to improve gut health. And of course, where's your baby? Baby's right next to your gut. And so you want your gut to be happy so it doesn't do anything um, you know, bad to your baby. And of course, if your gut is healthy, your immunity will be high. And um, you, know, you don't wanna get sick during this time. Okay, and the enzyme complex is very important very important because it helps with repairing and rebuilding and building tissues and so what what are we doing we're, we're making babies with you know so it's going to be helping us build tissues and um you know muscles and everything else so enzymes are very important and on top of that it's great it helps you go regularly and absorb your food better so you're absorbing more nutrients from your food um, then without the enzymes. That's Terrazyme. Uh, I like to uh, take that two in the morning, two at night, and maybe one during the day, uh, but depends on your diet. So if you have a meat-based diet, you want to take more Terrazyme and Terrazyme with every meal. If you have a plant-based diet, you can take less because you'll have more enzymes in your food. But still, I like to take it um, extra in the morning and at night just to help things go smoothly. All right, any questions or comments so far? Okay. All right, so of course uh, I explained why we should cleanse. All right, so that's good. All right, if we can cleanse before we um, have babies, there's a lower uh, chance of um, allergies and things, so it's, it's awesome. Okay. So now that some people are pregnant, what, what do we do? Um, we have morning sickness, right? Uh, so you can use peppermint, ginger, or digest scent. It depends on your preference. I have some people that just smell peppermint and they're good. Um, sometimes the ginger is good for you. Um, sometimes the digest scent helps you. So it depends on the person. But I know that 
there's some people that don't like ginger and ginger makes them want to throw up. So it depends. You gotta find the oil that you like. And of course, if your body has the nutritional quota that it needs, it won't be um, so sick and nauseous. Okay. So that's really important. And the reason why we're so sick and nauseous because all the um, nutrients is going to the baby. The baby's number one. It, it, we get what's left over. Okay. So we want to eat high, highly nutritious foods so that both mother and baby um, are fed. Mm -hmm. Okay. So of course, rest and relaxation. Um, I made, uh, you know, the mistake of thinking that I'm not doing much and I'm so tired all the time <laughs> and I felt guilty sleeping all the time. Um, but actually under the surface, you're, you're doing a lot of work there. So um, it's okay to rest up. Uh, so you can diffuse serenity to sleep. Not that, you know, most moms don't have a huge problem sleeping. <laughs> They're going to sleep a lot. Um, you can use balance. Uh, to help with anxiety and stress because your mind does run away with you. You think about one thing and you, you worry about things and um, then you can just go crazy um, thinking and worrying. Okay, so we want to stop that because, of course, when we're worried and we're stressed, we're producing all these yucky chemicals that are soaking our baby in. Okay, and we don't want that. Okay, so other oils to try. Um, just to help with relaxation. Geranium, lavender, sandalwood, ylang-ylang, bergamot, Roman chamomile, frankincense, elevation blend, citrus bliss blend, and wild orange. Those are very popular oils to help um, feel more relaxed. We want to encourage relaxation because we have all those great chemicals that come out of that, okay? Your oxytocin, and um, serotonin, all the wonderful chemicals that help you um, feel good and help bathe your baby in goodness. Okay, you guys just butt in, okay, if you want to say something. All right, stretch marks. All right, we want really nice, pretty tummies, okay. <laughs> um, we're really good with this with my sister too to use the um, hydrating cream. And um, of course we have a Immortel and frankincense and wood. Um, we just mix it with fractionated coconut oil and rub it on the tummy all the time. And uh, that was amazing. So my little sissy, she grew up and she had, you know, growing, growing stretch marks, but uh, with the pregnancy, no stretch marks on her tummy. So that was so cool. And of course, you can rub it on your breast too, because that's where we get stretch marks too. But the Immortel blend has frankincense, sandalwood, lavender, myrrh, helichrysum, and rose. So those are amazing oils for skin. Okay. Aches, sores, and cramps. Okay. And of course, you can use Deep Blue, Aroma Touch blend, past tense, um, peppermint. Eucalyptus, geranium, wintergreen, lavender, basil, and cypress. And uh, you can use one or two or a combination of all of these. Remember to dilute them. And um, you can rub it on your legs, your feet, soak it in Epsom salt, warm water bath, and elevate your feet. So immune boosting, so this is not the time to be catching stuff. So you want to be super healthy. Uh, so of course you've got On Guard, Breathe, Lavender and Eucalyptus. So those are great oils to keep you happy and healthy. Okay. So headaches, we get headaches sometimes when um, we're pregnant. Um, yes, and when, when we're not too, but when we're <laughs> When we're not pregnant, some of us can take some medications and stuff, but uh, it's best not to when you're pregnant. So peppermint, frankincense, wintergreen, lavender, or past tense um, will be some of the good oils to use for that. And you can actually smell the oils, breathe deeply, and so slow breaths and rest up. Okay. 
and the water retention. This is amazing, it works so well. Um, you can massage fractionated coconut oil and lemon grapefruit, um, and you can use cypress too. With my sister, it was just lemon oil and it did the job. So uh, a massage in half an hour, massage, elevate the legs and awesome. Very simple, okay? So you can add two, uh, two or three drops of grapefruit and lemon oil and a cup of water and drink regularly to help with uh, water retention. Okie dokie. So with this um, ebook, we printed out um, book form. So you can just print out the two pages front and back and then staple it in the middle and fold it up and then it becomes a book. Okay, so now that's pregnancy and moving on to the next stage, which is the birth and labor. And this is what we've been waiting for all nine months. Does anybody else have anything um, on the pregnancy part? Experiences or friends that they've seen use these remedies? Anything you want to add? Well, I know that I've helped several women with, um, with nausea, with a, a blend of lavender and peppermint and ginger. Mm -hmm. And that's really like, I had one gal, she tried it once and then she says, I need six more bottles of that. <laughs> yeah. so. That's awesome. Um, also with me, I've always had trouble, like sometimes going to bed, like I can feel the baby, you know, I just have butterflies for no reason. And I would use, I use the peace plant and I just put it all over my belly and they go right to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> you can put the baby to sleep even when the baby's in your womb. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> go back to your womb. <laughs> Oh, I don't know if other moms experienced that, but I experienced that the baby didn't move a lot during the day and then moved a lot at night because I think when you're walking, it's kind of like a rocking motion ah. and then they are opposite of you when you, <laughs> that's what I've experienced when, oh, with my sense. kids. Yeah. Makes sense. Or because you're, you're quiet and you're still, you recognize it more too. Yeah. That can yeah. be too. That can be it too. Hi, Ashley. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Fun. Yeah. Awesome. Will you guys just butt in and ask your questions and make comments, okay? Um, we have now the birth and the labor. This is so exciting. I still wish that, you know, if I could be pregnant again, I want to do all of this and um, experience it. But I, I did vicariously experience it through my sister and we did it great, um, twice with her two children. Uh, okay, so labor, confidence, diffuser blend. This is exactly what we did, all of these things here, are what I'm sharing. The wild orange and balance in the diffuser, it just keeps going. It's um, the whole time that you're in there. I mean, even the nurses, they're nicer, they come in and they're more relaxed and treat you better but you want the mum to be as relaxed as possible because things will go much faster and of course less pain. Okay, so that was an awesome um, idea for to diffuse. Um, you know, with my sister, that was amazing. I mean, if you are in pain like that, but she, she was able to just softly speak and you know, no drama, it was wonderful. All right, so back um, and labor support. Sometimes you have pain in the back and then also you've got pain in the front for contractions and things. So we put the oils in a roller bottle and, and labeled uh, or ready to go. Um, uh, you can, there's other blends that you can use, um, but you can try a few and put that in the bottle. So of course, once you get um, to the point where 
you, you're, <clears throat> excuse me, you have contracting, your back might hurt and then your front might hurt. And um, so we, we actually just rotated um, my sister's husband and me. Uh, I did the front and he did the back and then we switched and we kind of, with, that, with the roll bottle in our hands, we both were um, armed and ready to go. <laughs> so every 10 minutes and if she's like uncomfortable, like, ah, do, 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 do. <laughs> and so that was kind of fun. And so it was really helpful. Um, when we get distracted, she's like, guys, you know, back up again. Um, a wet compress will be good. Uh, what we did was we jumped in the shower. Um, and so we had the little hose, I mean the shower on her too, but the hose you know, on the front and then later on on the back. And then when the water wasn't on, the other person would um, roll the oils on the tummy. Um, and then when the water went back on the tummy, the other person did oils on the back. So we just went back and forth, back and forth. And that was really, really good. Okay, so I made a, f a few of these uh, for my pregnant friends at church. Um, so it's a peri spray. You want to use this um, before birth and after. And it's just a quarter of it will be in more tell oil. So you need to pop off that roll of lid and pour it in there and fill up the rest of your um, bottle with fractionated coconut oil. And now, now is a good time to get the more tell. Now is a good time to stock up. <laughs> yes. <We> yeah. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. <laughs> okay, um, put the spray top on there and spray uh, the peri area. It just helps with stretching and it helps with quick recovery. It also helps with um, cleaning it, um, you know, and uh, making sure that we don't get any infections and things. Okay, so that's really, really good. Very easy, but very effective. Uh, and you heal in half the time. It's so good. Okay, so that's your peri spray with the Immortel. Now um, for uh, calming and relaxing. Okay, so we can get to the point where we're a little bit panicky. Uh, Serenity so blend, get, get that um, packed and put in your bag. Lavender and Roman chamomile, frankincense, bergamot and peace blend. They're all great blends when, um, you know, you transition. All right. Um, yeah. There's different moments where the, the mom gets uh, quite um, um, anxious. So this is really good um, to keep this packed and ready to, uh, to suggest and use. Alrighty. Okay, so labor assist, geranium and clary sage. This is when um, it's happening but too slow. Um, it's with my sister, her water broke. Um, for 24 hours and nothing happened. So we mixed geranium and clary sage on her lower abs and rubbed it on her ankles. And she had inhaled it. And within three hours, I think she was three and a half minutes apart. Um, and it's good that we do it naturally because it builds upon each other. Uh, and, you know, each of the contractions, it builds up instead of, um, you know, like, unlike drugs, because drugs will just throw you into the deep end and you're, you haven't built up the, the, the tolerance for it. Um, but with the essential oils, it's a natural progression. So that's very important. And um, of course, if it's natural progression, you can handle it. If you get thrown into the deep end, sometimes you can't handle it and you cry out for intervention. And um, that's when we um, allow toxins and other things. And uh, it was just prior or one intervention after the next, um, and before you know it, your natural birthing plan is out the door, okay? which is not what we want. I'm very proud of um, my auntie and my sister and her two births because I was there and we were, you know, sticking with the plan and the doctors were very nice and worked with us. And you have to mention it to your doctors early yes. so <laughs> they're prepared that you're bringing these in. Oh yeah, they were surprised, Otherwise. some of them what we wanted, like umbilical cord, uh, you know, delayed umbilical cord clamping, like, what? Just, Why? Yes. <laughs> the birthing plan. Yeah, so anyways, yes. I'm sure they know. Um, all right, so that's the birth. There's more information, guys. I just want to give you a brief, um, you know, a little bit of information. You can get the book by Stephanie Fritz, and that talks about uh, you know, the, the little details 
and other discomforts and helps. All right, so now we've passed the birth and we've birthed the baby. <laughs> and what do we do? So um, we can anoint the baby um, on the, the crown of the baby with frankincense. It can be just used straight uh, without diluting. Um, if you want to, you can dilute it if you want, but it's, it's quite safe. And because the, the body, baby's gone through that trauma of squeezing its head and um, the skull overlaps a little bit to, to get out, then you want it to, be, uh, to recover quickly and assist that recovery by just putting some frankincense and helping the baby. And it's, it's really awesome because you can see that the baby's head gets rounder quicker. Okay, but spiritually, uh, frankincense helps the baby connect back to God. All right, so umbilical cord protection. Um, so after the um, baby's um, the umbilical cord stops pulsating, then um, you can, after it's clamped, you can put a drop of myrrh onto that uh, stump, and the oils will go through into the baby's body, protecting the baby's organs and the vital systems. And um, emotionally, it helps the baby feel connected to earthly mother and um, the earth. So welcoming the baby to earth. <laughs> okay, the grounding blend, my favorite. It's the balance uh, oil. And we just put a drop of that on the baby's little teeny feet. And um, it helps the baby be awake. Um, more like present, that's a the better word, present. And it's sort of like saying, hi, <laughs> say hi to your mom and dad. Um, and that was exactly what happened to my niece. She just she squeaked a little cry and that was it. She was so curious about everything. Um, <laughs> we put the balance on and she's looking around and the parents just burst out in tears because they were so happy. This little kid is so funny already. Alrighty, so I have a visitor blend here and it's on guard and you put that in your diffuser uh, when we have visitors so that, uh, you know, we don't catch microscopic environmental threats from them. <laughs> okay, they can come with gifts, but not that one. <laughs> All right, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Yeah. All right, I just wanted to say, a little bit about delayed umbilical cord clamping because I am all for this. A third of the baby's blood is still in the umbilical cord right after the birth. Um, that blood belongs to the baby. If we delay the cutting and clamping um, for maybe 15 minutes, the blood will fully return to the baby's body. All right, and it takes, you know, 15, 20 minutes, and that's it. You know when it's done, when the umbilical cord stops pulsating. I asked for this, and, you know, the first time the nurse did it, and she was very respectful, and she said, look, it's all gone. Can you see how it's white now, and there's no blood left, and it's flat? And we said, oh, good, and she cut it and clamped, and it was awesome. Um, but the second time the doctor was there and the doctor did it and she was like, yeah, enough time. And she gave it no more than five minutes. And when she cut, I mean, so much blood came out and I thought, yeah, that wasn't what we asked for. <laughs> but it's okay. Um, the reason why we want to do this is to help the baby um, be as healthy as possible because when babies um, lose some blood, then um, there's a higher risk of jaundice. Okay. And of course, if we have jaundice and it gets worse, there's more intervention and um, we don't want that. So it just doesn't hurt any to just wait 15, 20 minutes. And the baby's going to be on the mummy's tummy and chest anyways. Uh, so there's no rush. The good thing is when there's no blood left in the umbilical cord, the placenta will naturally detach itself without any um, you know, intervention. So sometimes um, they, they kind of massage the mommy's tummy and you, you just went through a bit of trauma and pain already. And that's another pain that it wasn't necessary. Uh, so uh, sometimes because you know, they're forced out, 
the umbilical cord is attached because it's thinking it's still supporting this baby. So it's fighting back. <laughs> it's holding on still because it's thinking there's a baby on the other end. The blood is still there. It's still pulsating. Um, but once it stops pulsating, you know, it knows its job is done. So it will release and let go and detach. So that's how nature works. Um, and, you know, if we just honor it, it's going to be great. Now, not everyone is comfortable with this, but placenta encapsulation, I'm all for this. And uh, because our placenta has a, is loaded with perfect hormones and nutrients for the mom and the baby. So what they do with their placenta encapsulation is they um, freeze dry it quickly and then make it into a powder and they put it in little capsules for us to take. It helps with the speed of healing. You heal in half the time. Um, you hemorrhage half as much and um, you produce milk um, very quickly. Okay, so it's everything is packaged perfectly for us. So um, I think honoring nature is a great idea. Okay, my sister did this um, and uh, it was good. Mm -hmm. And of course- we've... It's too bad we don't have Debbie Gordon. Yes, here. and Just... I put a link there. If you are in Utah, if Let's you hear this, this is uh, Debbie's web website, but she also explains what placenta encapsulation is. And I'm sure you can find somebody in your local area. So they come and pick up the placenta and within a day or so, they um, prepare it for you and they deliver it to you in capsule form and ready to go. Um, it helps with uh, post, um, post birth blues, you know, postpartum depressant depression uh, so that's another thing too because it's our hormones you know just going out of whack and um, you know keeps you happy okay now I'm going to pause because I, I did say a lot of things here does anyone want to add to this or ask questions make comments I can tell you just uh, it, it's not with oils, but um, if you usually have back labor, um, a lot of time it's because the baby's turned and that pressure is on your spine from the baby. Um, that happened to me with Ethan. And um, the, the easy thing to do is if it's early enough and you can get up, like you said, if you get in a shower, they will often turn themselves away if you put the shower head on the bottom of your back because it's loud and they will turn away from it and so it helps you and it helps them because they actually need to be facing down to come out yep the right way yeah and, and if if you can do that that's great because the opposite way is the doctor trying to turn it and that's not as fun yeah so debbie gordon i wish she was here but she has a couple of um tricks up her sleeves for that and it's you know it's good uh, but that is a good reminder. Fantastic. Thank you so much. The baby doesn't like loud shower noises, guys. <laughs> FYI. <laughs> All right. Oh, and rocking. If you sit in a rocking chair while you're diffusing stuff, um, the rocking will help the baby be able to get that motion and turn around as well. Oh, okay. That's good. I didn't know that. Oh, just bouncing on the little, what is it, exercise ball. <laughs> But it all turned out great because everybody was facing the right direction. <laughs> Alrighty, so beyond birth. So now it's for the healthy mom, healthy baby. Okay, so for strength and vitality, uh, we continue taking the vitality supplements and enzymes, of course, drinking lots of water. For sleep, we have lavender, vetiver, juniper berry, cedarwood, and patchouli. Okay, and that serenity blend, of course, we were talking about that earlier. Okay, nipple care, um, baby bottom care, same thing. Uh, <laughs> we would use the correct eggs, and it's an ointment with lavender, frankincense, helichrysum, melaleuca, and cedar wood. All these oils are fantastic for skin. So if you want to make your own, you can um, use a fractionated coconut oil, mix a, a drop or two of each of these oils, okay, and um, put it on your skin. It's fantastic for the bottom, baby bottom, or diaper rash, nappy rash. 
All right, to increase milk flow, basil, um, geranium, clary sage, or fennel too, guys. Okay, rub it on the breast, avoid the nipples, and do it two or three times a day. You can do it more. Uh, last week, I think, or the week before, Debbie Gordon was saying that you, you don't want to use fennel um, on your breast for more than a week because it actually uh, dehydrates you. Okay. So I'm sure like within a week, things would pick up again and um, the pump is, um, you know, what is it? Prime. Prime, prime the pump. <laughs> okay, so immune boosting for mum and baby. Well, frankincense and myrrh, guys. You can put frankincense and myrrh, dilute it and rub it on the bottom of the feet and um, it keep mum's uh, immunity up and baby's immunity up. Uh, we do have other oils. The reason why I mentioned these is because they're more gentle and, um, you know, it may not affect the taste of the milk, okay? Because sometimes, you know, if you use certain oils, the baby might not like the milk, um, but they, this is a, a good chance that, um, you know, it doesn't affect the flavour of the milk. Okay. So we mentioned baby blues. Of course, if you have um, your placenta encapsulated, that would really help with that. Uh, but of course, make sure you have it there enough nutrition, enough sleep is important, okay? And um, you can use oils like clary sage, grapefruit, lemon, sandalwood, vetiver, balance, elevation, serenity, and melissa to help you balance up again and find happiness and joy and enjoy this moment this stage in your life okie dokie that's all i have to share about pregnancy babies and birth Hi, Katie. <laughs> Does anybody have anything else they might want to add here that's worked for you or anybody you know? Can I, can I show, sorry. Does anybody have anything they want to add here? Okay, I'll show you, um, Jade mentioned um, earlier the book uh, called um, it's written by Stephanie Fritz. It's called um, Essential Oils for Pregnancy, Birth, and Babies. And a lot of those I just, Jay just uh, went over has come from this book. So this will go into a lot more detail. Um, you can get that on Amazon. Um, there's an old edition, a uh, new edition, doesn't, doesn't matter. But yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, I like the old edition, but the new edition is just as good. Yeah. Yep. So okay. it's a good book. I read it cover to cover several times before every birth and pregnancy. Well, thank you everybody for coming out well, tonight. Thank you. We'll just end our recording and then we can hang out and chat some more if you like.